The electric vehicle is going to revolutionise urban transport in the next five years and transport as a whole over the next 10 to 15 years. It's silent, it's clean, it doesn't impact on the local environment. I think electric vehicles are increasingly looking as a value for money and a convenient way to travel. The electric car manufacturing industry could be a real winner for the North East region. This could be a whole new industry for us and it's one we should confidently embrace. This is why you can see this as an industry of the future, not the past. It's here. I don't think there's anyone left who doesn't realise that unless we change the use of CO2, we are just creating an enormous problem for the future. We're going to run out of oil. Therefore, the necessary future for the car industry cannot be revolving around an oil-based engine. So we need to think about new technologies, and one aspect would be basically electric vehicles. I think more and more people would like the opportunity to feel that they're doing their thing for the environment as well as having a good reliable way of getting around the place. I think electric cars are very cool and I would definitely want one when I'm older. I would like an electric car because it was quiet and you just have to plug it in to charge it. I think if my mum had an electric car she would be able to go into the garage and plug it in and she would be able to go to bed and the car would charge up. And in the morning she'd be able to go back down and go to the supermarket. And as she was going it would be really good because it would be quiet and she'd have her own little bubble of clean air around her. And all the other cars would be noisy and she would be quiet. And then when she went to the supermarket, she could just plug it in again and it would all be charged up. It's like an iPod or something. You can just put it into the mains. And on the way home, it would be clean again and all the other cars would be noisy and polluting and she would be really clean. And I think that my mum would be really happy. With the work, that's going on around us, this region could be the global heart of a new electric vehicle industry. The North East has a very big potential and is very well positioned. Uh, so therefore, here we will see quite a lot of exciting times in the next couple of years. Different aspects of the community from businesses to local authorities to higher education and research institutions uh, to schools are all seeing the opportunities that are available through introducing electric vehicles. Our role is to be the catalyst in that, to bring together those different organisations, to really make them work together so that between us we can lead this new revolution. We are definitely a world leader in our research on hybrid electric cars and electric cars on the component side. We have basically 10 projects going on at the moment, but also in the past we worked with the automotive industry together. If you want to drive an electric car, you want, you want to expect the same lifetime with your conventional car. And in particular, the battery is the weakest component, and that is what we're working on here. So what you see here is an electric racing car. Um, it has been actually converted because originally it was a petrol-powered engine car. And um, for us at Newcastle University, it's very important that also our students uh, get trained in the subject of hybrid electric vehicles and electric vehicles because we know from industry that there is a shortage. And I think it's a perfect uh, training opportunity for all students who would like to work within this area. One thing the North East has to offer is experience, existing experience in electric vehicle manufacture. We've been around for nearly 90 years now and throughout that whole period we've been building electric vehicles. Smith Electric Vehicles manufactures the world's broadest and largest product portfolio of commercial electric vehicles. The biggest is this beast here which is the uh, Smith Newton 
top speed 50 miles an hour, range of 100 miles and a payload several tons. It's got a gross vehicle weight of up to 12,000 kilograms, so it really is a big boy. We also have the Smith Edison, which is our electrified version of the Ford Transit. And then the Smith Ampere is the electrified version of the Ford Transit Connect, which is the Transit's baby brother, a light van. Charging the vehicle couldn't be any simpler. It's really easy, it's plug and play. All the technology is built into the vehicle, so all you have to do is put it on charge overnight, come in in the morning, unplug it, and drive off. Now, because the infrastructure is built into the vehicle, you can charge the vehicle any way you like on your daily operations, but for the vast majority of our clients, the 100 mile range that we provide them is more than ample for their needs. Today we've had Nick Brown, Minister of uh, the North East here at our site, having a tour, actually driving some of our vehicles and having a long discussion about the opportunities for our product, not just in the UK, but also internationally. It's fantastic to drive. It isn't uh, as I expected to be. Uh, I was sort of thinking of something a little more old fashioned. This is a modern vehicle. As more and more people drive and experience our vehicles, they become converted, they understand the actual concept, and they're very willing to, to actually then take the product into their portfolio, into their fleet. But we also believe that there's a bigger, wider opportunity to actually take some of our technology and transpose it across into parts of the passenger car and commercial markets. So yeah, we're very excited about what we can do, not just here in the northeast of England, but also uh, on the world stage. We have two businesses currently operating on this site. One is Commissus Europe and the other is Avid Vehicles. Commissus manufactures components for low emission vehicles. Avid's actually concentrated on system integration and complete vehicle and powertrain development. As a company, one of our core principles is the principle of constant innovation to develop new products and processes that can fulfill a need in the marketplace. This is an electric utility vehicle, so zero emission. The unique thing about this vehicle is it has two traction motors, one on the front axle and one on the back axle. So it's really powerful. It's ideal for use for um, agricultural applications, for rescue, uh, things like that. It's entirely powered by this battery pack, which is under the seats. And you get a, a whole day's use out of the battery pack in here. It can be recharged from a normal socket or a generating set. We're gonna have this in production by the end of the year. The main product range of Comisys is electronic accelerator pedals for vehicles. We also make these pedals for electric vehicles and for hybrid vehicles as well because they require very sophisticated electronic control systems to make them function correctly. We were contacted by Comisys who were looking for a partner, uh, a bus company who are going to be flexible and work with Comisys to make vehicles available for their operators to be fitted. If I can show you in the back of this bus, which is fitted with a typical mechanical cooling system. Down here, you have a single large mechanical fan spinning continuously, so the engine has to generate that power all of the time using diesel instead of for driving the bus around for cooling the bus. So if I can show you in the back of this bus, which has been fitted with one of the Comisys Mini Hybrid systems, the first thing you'll notice is instead of one large mechanical fan, we have a bank of six high-performance electronic fans. Previously, the fan was running all of the time. We had a lot of uh, air being moved for no reason. I'll just show you on the back of the fan that it's not running. This means that we're not using engine power that we don't need to cool the engine. The result of that is reduced CO2 emissions and cost savings for the operator. This is the first pilot uh, in Durham Park and Ride, the first one of its kind in UK. Liberty Electric Cars is a newly established clean technology business. What we're doing is we're converting famous cars into high performance electric cars. The Liberty Electric Range Rover, for example, is zero to 60 in under seven seconds. It's actually a faster vehicle than the ordinary internal combustion engine Range Rover and will drive over 200 miles on a single charge. The average person only drives about 10 or 15 miles per day. And because you can plug your car in at home every night, you're literally starting, so to speak, with a full tank every morning. 
we're going to be creating 250 jobs and we're going to be bringing 30 million pounds of inward investment to the region. So we're very pleased to be in the Northeast and we're very happy to have made the decision to come to this region. We believe that Nissan and the region represent a huge opportunity for uh, the development of electric vehicles and to, to create some sort of a, I don't know, a hub for the UK. Having the Nissan base for electrical vehicles in the northeast of England would be fantastic, obviously, for the region. But it will be actually fantastic for Nissan as well. Not only do they have an excellent base near Sunderland, but they know that they have a very skilled workforce. And that strength and skill is based deep in quality manufacturing. And electric vehicles present a real opportunity to sustain that quality, to use it, and to create new markets for a sustainable future. Nissan understands the level of commitment that the North East region will make to a project like this. And I think Nissan knows that the region will deliver. recognise that nobody's going to buy any electric vehicles unless there's an infrastructure in place. So we're putting a lot of work into developing a model to start to roll out charging infrastructure of different types, uh, both within city centres and across the region. We'll be putting a total of about 40 charging points in right across the city. And some of those will be in the council's depots, but the great majority will be out in public spaces on the street where people can use them. We're looking at photovoltaic powered charging canopies where you can park your vehicle and get charged up. We're also working with key employers and encouraging them to um, enable their employees to have electric vehicles so that they can take them home, they'll be ambassadors for electric vehicles. We see electric vehicles as being part of a much bigger picture and that's about uh, renewable energy, embedded generation where the renewable energy is generated where it's used. If we use still coal and oil, then the electric car is actually not as green as many people think. It is therefore quite important um, to look into renewable energy and to develop good renewable energy and good electric cars uh, together in parallel. This is also another aspect why the Northeast is actually very strong because uh, we have in Blyce um, the research center which is looking into wind power and solar power and the Northeast has the ability basically to supply the power from renewable energy right via the grid to the electric cars and flag up to the rest of the world um, that electric vehicles are cars which are competitive to combustion engine cars. We have the industry, we have the research and we have the commitment. All together I'm sure that we can lead the way for electric vehicles in Great Britain. We've led the world in previous generations of technology and we will lead the world this time also. It's not only tremendous to see what's going on here, it's, it's very invigorating but it also gives me a sense of purpose in my job as the country's business secretary. Coming here I can see what can be achieved and what the government needs to do to get behind people's efforts here.